Now, finally, finally here at home in one of her first decisions as Secretary of State, she set up a private email server in her basement in violation of our national security. Let's face the facts. Hillary Clinton cared more about protecting her own secrets than she cared about protecting America's secrets. And then she lied about it over and over and over again. She said there was no marked classified information on her server. The FBI director said that's untrue. She said that she did not email any classified information. The FBI director says that's untrue. She said all work-related emails were sent back to the State Department. The FBI director said that's not true. So as to Hillary Clinton, the charge of putting herself ahead of America, guilty or not guilty? Hill I got another question for you. I got another question for you. As to Hillary Clinton lying to the American people about her selfish, awful judgment in making our secrets vulnerable, what's your verdict, guilty or not guilty? Now time, time after time after time, the facts, and just the facts, lead you to the same verdict, both around the world and here at home. In Libya and Nigeria, guilty. In China and Syria. In Iran and Russia and Cuba. And here at home for risking America's secrets to keep her own and lying to cover it all up. Her focus group tested persona with no genuineness to be found is a sham meant to obscure all the facts and leave you able to vote for her. We cannot promote someone to commander-in-chief who has made the world a more violent and dangerous place with every bad judgment she's made. We cannot make the chief law enforcement officer of the United States someone who has risked America's secrets and lied to the American people about it day after day after day. Here it is, everybody. We didn't disqualify Hillary Clinton to be President of the United States. The facts of her life and career disqualify her. See, I can tell that everybody in this hall agrees with this, but I want to take our last moments here to talk to all of you at home, in your living rooms, sitting there tonight. You're the ones who will decide this election. We have an alternative. We have a man who is unafraid. We have a man who wants to lead us. We have a man who understands the frustrations and the aspirations of our fellow citizens. We have a man who judges people based on their performance, regardless of your gender, your race, your ethnic or religious background. I implore you, we do not need to settle for less in this election. We cannot reward incompetence and deceit. We need to demand more than what Hillary Clinton offers for America. Because, see, we know exactly what four years of Hillary Clinton will bring. All the failures of the Obama years, but with less charm and more lies. Tonight, those of us in this hall and the people at home, it is our obligation to stop Hillary Clinton now and never let her get within 10 miles of the White House again. It is time to come together and make sure that Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. I am proud to be part of this team. Now let's go out and win this thing together. Let's go get them. Good night.